Lovely Taurians, welcome to your July 2020 reading. Hope this reading finds you well, healthy, stay safe in these times, very strange times. But there's a lot of learning to be had in these times, with no distractions. The time to get back to ourselves, I guess. This is a general reading for you, my lovely Taurians. It's a reading for Taurus Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. If you'd like to have a private reading with me, a personalised reading, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. I'd like to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting on my channel. Your support is very much appreciated. If you are new to the channel and you'd like to subscribe, you make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you um, will know when new videos are being posted. Also hit that notification bell. That way you'll be one of the first to know when I've posted new videos. Your cards are flying out everywhere, my lovely Tori, and so it's going to be quite an interesting month for you, quite a busy, quite an active month. I feel like um, things are finally going to start moving forward. It's this new um, awareness that you have, a new awareness, a new realisation, um, and it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, it's a, a realisation of the people that you have around you, and, um, you know, is it, a, is it a share, is it a... a, a a balanced give and take uh, situation energetically <clears throat> or not so there's this realization of where you work how you work the people you work with the people you know, your home environment your life in general um, it's it's a time of awakening for you it's it's your aha moment it's your aha month I guess um, I want to say to you so let's see what's in store here for your <clears throat> month of July there's much that you want to say because my throat chakra is tightening up. There's much that you need to say, much that you want to get out, much that you want to get across to people, things that you've been um, bottling up, keeping to yourself, maybe not expressing yourself um, the, the way you would like to. Um, it's going to be a month of really finding your voice and speaking out um, about what it is you want, not about you know, other people pulling you here, there and everywhere. It's about you. This month is about you. <clears throat> it's about you. So, you know, you've got the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles speaks of, you know, what's yours will come to you. It's going to be given to you. Uh, it's going to, you're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing um, results for your efforts. It's this, um, you know, it's no, no point chasing things that aren't unfolding for you and, and insisting that that's what you want and that's the direction you want to go in. Maybe it's time to stop and, and turn around and look at what's around you and look at other opportunities that are there. Look at opportunities that are going to flow for you. So it's really a time of what is yours will come to you. It will unfold for you. Be aware of synchronicities. Be aware of divine timing. Be aware of the opportunities that are around. Don't be so focused on one particular thing or some some changes that you're wanting that aren't working for you have a look at what other opportunities are opening up for you as well what's around you <clears throat> what's going to flow it's about ease and grace this month it's about ease and grace you've also got the princess of pentacles and that sort of attitude looking at opportunities tapping into what's available to you um, tapping into what the universe is showing you rather than ignoring it or fighting it going with it and and taking those opportunities and it's going to see results you're going to have um, a clear path opening up to you you're going to be able to have you have that vision you can you can see through the fog if you like that's what I want to say to you it's like seeing through the fog you've got that far-reaching vision you've got that that dawning of a new day there's there's some change coming coming very early in July for you. There's some sort of change that's happening here, uh, some sort of awakening that's happening here. <clears throat> and it's interesting because, you know, for, for some readings and you as well, I keep wanting to say October. So again, it's, you know, this has come up for two other, other readings, as other star signs as well. It's July is linked to October. So there's something happening here in October that is started in July. So 
um, just I'm just going to give you that <clears throat> I'm just going to give you that to see what what comes of it there are bright times ahead so it's about finding your purpose finding that true path finding what opportunities are there that are opening up for you don't waste your time swimming upstream don't waste your time um, trying to make bring things into alignment make things happen that are just not going to happen it's going you're going to pour a whole lot of energy in into that and you're going to miss these opportunities here if something that you're you're persevering with isn't unfolding for you it's time to look at other opportunities here it's time to look at doing things differently it could be achieving the same goal but going about it in another way so it's time to regroup it's time to think about how you can best make this happen and once you do um, things are going to open up for you there's going to be that ease of flow you've got the sun here which is incredibly incredibly positive positive and optimistic uh, it shows that there's um, light is being shone on all aspects um, things are going to fall into place opportunities are going to be there everything that you want to do is is there for you it's going to be divinely given to you but you need to find it, you need to see it, you need to stop, you need to look, you need to regroup, you need to look at what you're doing and how you're doing it and is it working for you or do you need to rethink the process? Which is, you know, <clears throat> they put it in an interesting way here, you know, they're putting it in, in, in an interesting way to you and, you know, the importance of what's going on in your life is going to vary with each of you. It's just depends on where you are at in your stage of, of you know the cycle of life what stage are you at what's opening up for you what's happening around you what changes are you wanting to bring in and that's going to vary for all of all new Taurians um, but it's going it's that's the energy that's coming in for you that's the energy that's coming in for you it's going to bring you know you're hopeful of um, work coming your way and it is coming your way there is going to be lots of work that you're burning the midnight oil you're really processing thinking putting things in place and really putting in the effort uh, for some of you it's it's your work environment and and putting in the effort for a promotion or a new job uh, for some of you it's a project or um, a new business that you're trying to launch or a new project or branch of that that business that you're trying to launch um, it's really you're really thinking about it you're really putting effort into it and it is going to reap the rewards that you are um, hopeful that it will the, the, the rewards are there and this is all part of your awakening. This is all part of what's going on around you, my lovely Taurians. This is all part of um, July. You know, it's just, it's, it's this reawakening. It's this realizing what's going on in your life, what you're doing, how you're doing it, how you're working, um, people around you. It's, it's this re-evaluation re but gee you've got some positive cards you've also got the nine of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles is you know it, it this is about being surrounded by beautiful things being surrounded by happiness being surrounded by what you are trying to achieve things are going to fall into place there is a bright future here this is what's coming up in your reality through your efforts through your work through your dedication um, through your consistently um, trying to achieve a certain outcome you're going to get there and you're going to it's going to change your reality the way you're hoping that it will and things are going to fall into place so that you're going to bring in this peace and this abundance and this joy into your into your reality through through you know what is really important here that you know if something isn't working my lovely Taurians set about change, making the changes that are necessary set about making the required changes in your um, environment in what's going on around you so then we've got the king of swords the king of swords is going to play quite a prominent part in your um, in July um, it's there's, this is this is someone male or female that is really strong a thinker, supportive, um, really, really is there standing by you. I, I want to say almost propping you up, almost propping you up and supporting you. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, 
sun rising or moon sign this but it's someone with these qualities of uh, being really strong really supportive I feel like they're your base they're your base and they're going to be there in July for you so that you do have the support and the guidance um, that you you need um, and that's re a really strange thing to be saying to a Taurian who is generally quite a strong earth sign but um, this is someone that is a thinker they're going to sort of where, where you may have some confusion or need some clarity they're going to come in with that clarity for you for some of you this is this is the energy that's coming in for you if this is working working things out and by week three of I want to say week three of July you're going to feel really confident really strong about the choices and decisions that you've made about what you need to set in place what you need to set in motion what you need to put in place for you to be moving forward for you to be achieving your life's purpose for you to be achieving what brings you joy for you to be achieving your goals and your ambitions that's important for a Taurian goals um, are important for a Taurian forward movement is important for a Taurian and you're going to reach that place of being really comfortable with that really confident about where you're going and how you're achieving it so I, I like that I like that you've also got the lovers here well there you go so there's a real love energy this is <clears throat> this is a, a twin soul this is this is a, a soulmate that's coming in here this is someone that is a, it could be someone that is already in your in your life uh, that, that that has a there's a really strong connection with this person that's going to strengthen in July they're going to play quite a prominent important part of your security in July the um, soulmate if you're looking for a soulmate, fabulous energy for, for that to be able to get out there and, and well, as much as you can with lockdown and, and you know, the virus and everything else. But there's, there's other methods of doing that, you know, using technology, using, you know, communicating over the wires. Um, it's about getting out there because the energy is there if you're looking for your soulmate then you are going to meet them you're going to come across them as things start to lift as things start to you know open up around you that there's going to be a connection with with someone that is quite significant for you in July quite an important person could be someone that's already in your life and that strengthens that strengthens gosh you've got some powerful cards here you've got the empress to me the eight and the nine of pentacles is very much like the pet the, the Empress but the Empress really comes in with that extra punch the Empress is about um, giving birth to new ideas it's about fertility if you're wanting to have a child great month to do that it, it's it's you know sort of um, or the birth there could be the birth of a child as well the birth of new ideas um, bringing in the wealth and the abundance that you're seeking it's all going to fall into place this is really fertile ground that we're talking about so any plans that you have any new ideas that you have anything that you want to put in motion absolutely great month to do it July is a moving and shaking month for you so use it use it to your advantage really bring in the changes that you're wanting bringing in the changes that you're seeking here in in July <clears throat> absolutely what is blocking you what is there there's absolutely nothing it's about um, well I say absolutely nothing you you your own confidence your confidence in yourself, your value, your self-worth, your ability to achieve what you want to achieve is there. So don't doubt it. If you're going to bring in doubt, that's going to really create the resistance and it's going to slow down the growth. It's about really moving forward with confidence and with strength and knowing that things are going to fall into place. So there's that positive thought, positive thinking and feeling really strong and confident about the changes that you're making. Making. it's not about bringing in doubt don't allow doubt and fear to come in and water this down water down your strength water down your determination stay focused in that forward movement in that determination in what's coming up for you you've also got the king of pentacles 
as your your final card in July and the king of pentacles is Taurus Virgo Capricorn male or female that is around that is going to support you I feel like there's someone that's going to come in I almost want to say with financial support or with with for some of you it is financial support with some of you it's it's to give you that lift and that boost that you're needing for some of you this is your energy this is you feeling really earthed and really grounded um, this is your card this is your suit this is you know you are pentacles you are grounded you you you're finding your feet you're di- rediscovering your true self and your true ability having confidence and strength in and determination in what you're wanting to do so you're really going to step into your own by the end of July you're going to step into your own energy you're, you're going to come back to the self by the end of July and, and rediscover um, you, rediscover your ability. There's that newfound confidence and, and determination that, that is there, that is so Taurian, that is going to see you moving forward into the next three months. You've also... I've, pulled some extra cards you've got the emperor here so this is you feeling super super confident by the time the end of July comes along so the, the planets are going to be aligned for you a little bit of work to be done here but the planets have aligned for you and you you exit July feeling like wow I've done well with that there is this forward movement I can see my goals I can see you know where I'm going I can see my path I can see what I'm going to achieve and I'm going to achieve it absolutely and you have all the blessings of the universe here you've got the star here this is the the blessings of the universe this is um, seeing things from the the whole picture seeing this things from a distance and looking at the whole picture that is there it's about wishing upon a star what do you want to manifest? What do you want to create? What do you want to achieve? It's all there for you, my lovely Taurians. <clears throat> it's really a month of moving and shaking. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that's what I'm going to put in your in your title, you know. A moving and shaking month, my Taurians. Use that energy. Let's see what the angels of abundance have to say to you. What blessings do they bring? What words of wisdom and advice do they bring? Okay, here we go. Successful funding. Successful funding. And that's self-funding. You know, that's your energies as well. Don't forget, it's not just money. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Partnerships and other investments are available to help you. Well, isn't that what we've just discussed? Absolutely. It's that sort of month, my lovely Taurians. So move ahead with confidence. But, you know, use that time in the beginning of July to really sort through what, what's blocking you, what needs to be dealt with, what are you trying to continually push forward that's just not unfolding for you. Let's rethink it. Let's change our direction. Let's see what other opportunities are there. That's going to be really important for you. So, my lovely Taurians, I wish you a month of absolute movement and shake, moving and shaking, and and you know, making things happen, bringing things into your reality that you have worked hard for to achieve. I wish you many, many blessings. If you would like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website, and you can book a reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Taurians.